If you own a Logitech webcam, like the C920, C930, or the Brio, and you want to have some more control over your webcam when you're on a virtual meeting, like on Teams or Zoom, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Logitune app that has replaced the Logitech camera settings app to be able to do things like zoom in on your face during a Zoom meeting. So it allows you to control your camera in a number of different ways. We start here at the Logitech support website. Go to support.logi.com. Now it will take you to your local country setting here. And what we want to do is we want to click on the downloads page. The downloads page lists all the software that they offer. I'm going to scroll down because the Logitune app is uh, usually in about the fifth row here on the left side. At least that's where it is when I'm recording this video in December of 2021. It's this purple square with the uh, white vertical rectangles or bars here. When you click on the name or the logo, it will take you to a download page. Now it is available for both Windows and Mac, but it auto senses what operating system you're on and it automatically provides you with that particular version. So if it gets it wrong, you do have a drop down list here where you can see you can choose Windows, Mac, uh, and then they have other as well. So download the uh, version that is the correct one for you and install it on your computer. That's step number one. The next step is to start your Zoom or Teams meeting first. This is important so that the camera gets attached to that meeting. See, a webcam can only feed one app at a time. So you need to start the Zoom meeting first. Now with this new Logitune app, I have seen it flip the video from itself to a Zoom meeting uh, if you start it first, but for consistency, I don't think that's gonna always work in every setup. So start your Zoom meeting first as I have had, as I've done here. And then what you do is you start your Logitune app. So I'm gonna bring it onto the screen here. And our Logitune app starts up and it starts with the agenda. Now it does have this uh, way to connect your calendar if you wanna do that, I, I don't think that's necessary. But you go to My Devices and you'll see your webcam listed. In my case, I have a C920. So I click on the webcam and what it does is it will tell you here, no previews available because the webcam is in use by another application, which is the Zoom meeting. And that's what you're seeing on the screen. And I'm showing you this to you so you can see it actually happen in uh, a meeting app. So then we have our basic controls here. Our Zoom slider is the one that most people are going to use. So what you can do is you can either use the plus or minus uh, keys here, or you can use the slider. Now, one of the things I like about the Logitune app over camera settings is the plus and minus have very, very fine control. So I can click on this plus and you hardly see it move at all. In fact, you have to click it quite a number of times. You see that slider moving. It's only moving a little bit. It's got a lot more to go. <laughs> We're not going to do that because that'd be a little too scary. So it zooms in and then once you've zoomed in, you see these directional controls. So if your face isn't centered where you want it to be, you know, that's the wrong way. You can adjust that within the zoomed control. And you'll notice it's happening live in my Zoom platform meeting. So it's happening and everybody can see it. Now people can see my facial expressions much better in the meeting. So you can choose to do this during your meeting. Of course, you don't have to have the the Logitune app visible at all when you're, when you're doing this, I suggest you leave it running during the meeting. Now it usually will keep the settings, but just in case it doesn't on your setup, usually just minimize it with the minus sign here and it'll keep running and keep your uh, settings for your camera the way you want it to be. Now, a few other things. I suggest leave autofocus on, especially when you are using the camera zoom because it uh, you wanna make sure it's focusing on you. These color adjustments give you a whole lot of other type of filters here or adjustments. Um, just leave the automatic settings. It's really rare that you would need to change any of these uh, when you're using your webcam. And this uh, adjusts your webcam in any application. So whether you're using Teams, Zoom, WebEx, Google Meet, whatever it is. The settings, what I found is, is if you uh, close the Logitune app using the X here, it doesn't actually quit. It stays in your 
tray in Windows. So it means that those settings will be still used the next time you go to use it. Now, if you do quit the app totally, of, of course, it may not remember those settings. But when you want to have more control over your Logitech webcam, whether it's a C920 like I have, a Brio a C922, use the Logitune app to do that. This is a change. Logitech got rid of the camera settings app in late 2021, and when I'm uh, filming this in December of 2021, it's the Logitune app that you want to use. So use that. If there are any more updates, I'll create another video so that you know what the new app is from Logitech. If you found this video helpful, there are three things you can do to help me out. First, click the like button below the video on YouTube. Second, leave a comment with any questions or feedback. And third, subscribe to my channel. Check out my websites and other videos with more tips and advice. Thanks again for watching.